Welcome to our video series introducing you to Microsoft Excel. In this video, we'll explore navigating around worksheets and workbooks. So, in this video, let's dive in a little deeper into worksheets. We've previously touched on the concept of worksheets and a way to think about which worksheets to include in a workbook. But here, I'm going to quickly walk you through how to work with worksheets. I gave you a quick demo in the previous video of how to rename worksheets. Just right click here on any worksheet, and just before we do that, to change between worksheets, you just click on it. Very simple. This has taken us to the next worksheet, and click on the next one. And you see that the worksheet title in white is the one that you're currently working in. And OK, we can click back. If we want to have less space that is dedicated, less space here dedicated to worksheets, you can just click, hold, and drag this to lengthen the scroll bar. And you see that it does actually cut into the worksheet tabs. So here, you can just use these little arrows, the internal left and right arrows, to just scroll through the worksheets listed here. And then, the outside left and right arrows, the right one jumps to the last worksheet, and the left one jumps to the first worksheet. But OK, let's stretch that over so we can see those. So, OK, right-click on any worksheet to rename. And let's say, and you can change this just the same way you can edit any text. You can use the left and right arrows to move through the text. Or use the Home key to jump to the Start, or the End key to jump to the End. Or you can click the cursor wherever you want to make selections. Delete deletes whatever is to the right of the cursor, and Backspace deletes whatever is to the left of the cursor. So in this case, let's change that to 2003. And when you're done, just press Enter, and there we go. The name change takes effect. Now let's say I want to remove the 2005 income worksheet. So I can right-click and choose Delete. And obviously, be careful about that if it contains a lot of information, but let's just OK that to delete. OK, you can also change the order in which the worksheets display. If you just click, hold, and drag on any worksheet name, you can move it. You see the little arrow here tells you where you're moving it to. So if I let go now, these two worksheet tabs will have changed order. Just like that. And we can move it back if we wish. OK, you can also move by right-clicking and choose Move or Copy. And you can also move selected worksheets to a new workbook if you want. Or you can keep it in the existing one, but then choose where it goes. We can do Move to End, Create a Copy, OK, and there we go. We've basically made a copy, and there it is. It's at the end. 2003 Income, Copy 2. You can also right-click and Insert, and just click on Worksheet, and OK. And now we have Sheet 4 here. And if we want to move that, of course, just click, hold, and drag it. And we can move it to the Start if we wish. Right-click and Rename, and let's just say 2002 Income. And then, if we right-click, we can select all sheets. You see that all the tabs have become white. And that way, you can make copies and so on if you wish. Also, you don't have to just right-click here. You can also insert Worksheet, 
Use the Insert menu and Insert Worksheet, and there it is, Sheet 5. You can also go to the Format menu, Sheet, and Rename, or even Hide. And actually, just before we get to that, I need to explain a point. When I just inserted sheets, because I had all the sheets selected, you see I had four worksheets already selected. You see that when I inserted sheets, we automatically inserted four new sheets. Sheets 5, 6, 7, and 8. So let me just right click, delete. OK. Right click, delete. OK. Right click, sheet 7, delete and OK, and Sheet 8. Now let me demonstrate how to do multiple selections. So you can right-click as shown and select all sheets, or you can hold down the Shift key and click, and it selects from the first sheet you selected to the last sheet you click on. So if I click on the end, that sheet is selected, and hold down Shift, and click here, and it selects from there to there. It selects from start to end. Click here, and you see how that works. Alternatively, if you hold down Control, the CTRL key, you can select sheets which aren't directly next to one another. You can click again and again to turn selection on and off for certain sheets. Then to get rid of these selections, just click on one worksheet, then click back to where you want to be. And OK, again, let's select these three, these three worksheets. Insert Worksheet, and suddenly you'll see that we have three new worksheets, worksheets 9, 10, and 11. If we wish, we can select those just by holding down the Shift and clicking, so we've selected those three, and right-click and delete, OK. So if for whatever reason we want to hide this worksheet, we don't want to delete it, but we want to tuck it away for now, Format, Sheet, Hide, and it's hidden. Obviously, you can't see it, so you can't access it. If you want to unhide it at some point, just Format, Sheet, unhide, and it tells you which sheets are hidden, and if we OK there, there we go, it's back. So those are the options available to you when working with worksheets within an Excel workbook.